just about set to kick off here, and it's not a home game for either of these teams. And now the coin toss, and it's presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. UCLA is ready to open this one up as they line up for the opening kick. It's fielded at the two. Knocked out of bounds at the 27-yard line. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. With a quick throw. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. He showed some excellent moves out there. More than you usually expect from a tight end. That was a big game, and this offense keeps humming along. From their own 49-yard line, it's first down. the stop the 48 yard line they come out on an empty backfield they bring the quarterback down he has one job on passing situations get to the quarterback and he did that job very very well on that play situation here a third and long all on their own 40 he steps out at the 49 let's see if he aims for the sideline and tries to get this thing down deep in their own territory Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. The Bruins have shown over the course of the season that they want to get this guy the football, but you can't just go to him every play. Well, on the road, you especially want to take the crowd out of the game, and the one guy you know who can do it is this wide receiver. The problem you have is this defense, more often than not, is going to be a line to take him out of the game. And that's to your point, Brad. That's where somebody's going to have to step up, whether it's the running game, some of the other receivers. You're going to have to take some of the pressure off of him really make it a team effort to be able to win this game on the road. From their own 18-yard line, second down. Tackle right around the 28-yard line. it out to maybe the 30-yard line. A couple of yards there on the option of the halfback. Oh, excellent punt. He gets out to about the 38-yard line. And so far, it's been totally even. In close games like this, every possession is likely to matter. Now he's scrambling. He gets hit out of bounds around the 48-yard line. Well, this is a nice run for the first down by this quarterback. From their own 48-yard line, first down. see the draw play at its best. The tailback got good blocking up front and was able to pick up a bunch of yards. He's at the 30. Gets out to around the 25. From 
the 25 yard line. First down. He's hit and taken down. Second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. Touchdown, Wolverines! He splits the uprights with the extra point. A six-play, 62-yard drive, and they put up seven points. And Brad, right now, the offensive line just winning the battle in the trenches, opening up some big running lanes. So our score, 7-0. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. He scrambled. He's taken down at the 31. Good for a game of six yards. That'll make it second and four. Makes the catch and look out. Brought down at the 48. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. Well, they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. He's scrambling. He's at the 30. They'll bring him down around the 17-yard line. Touchdown away from a tie. Got to be careful of a pass play with this defense. And he's tackled at the two. Touchdown, Bruins. They'll line up for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. And he tacks on the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. Quick throw. And they make the stop the 36-yard line. We played one. We're even at seven in this one. We can only hope the second quarter is as good as the first. Tight ball game, folks. And he 
he makes it out to about the 37-yard line. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on the 37. Fires quickly with a tight end. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. Well, this pass rush is sometimes scary. They're really getting after the quarterback now. So it's second down and 13 yards to go following that quarterback sack. Tackled for a loss. it out to about the 44-yard line. Gets out to about the 21. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum. So as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. They'll knock him down for a loss. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on their own 19. Up here, these guys are getting very tight on their timing. Quick out to his receiver, and he's leveled the 39 yard line. chance makes it to the 44 tackle at the 44 yard line Zips it to the back, and they push him out at the 42. That's a game of two. That'll bring up third and eight. Dumps it complete to the halfback, over the middle. He's tackled at the 38. Fourth down. They'll line it up for a very long field goal attempt. UCLA is looking to go up by three. Kicks away, and it's wide left. No good. Every time you have a chance to finish a drive with points, you've got to capitalize. That time, they couldn't come through. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Quick throw to the tight end. He's knocked out of bounds at the 49-yard line. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 49-yard line. Gets it out quickly. And down he goes at the 44. I like that they're completing these underneath routes. 
because pretty soon the defense is going to start to cheat up. That's when the quarterback will have his chance to go over the top for the big play. Got a man in and out of his hands. Third and five. Ball on the 44-yard line. He's going to try and scramble. He's taken down right around the 40. This punt, if he gets it where he wants, it can really change the field position in this football game. will be a touchback. Well, it's always fun to be part of a defensive battle, and that's certainly what we have right now. Yeah, give credit to both of these defenses. I mean, they, they're playing with a lot of energy, and I think they're doing a nice job up front at the line of scrimmage. And at this point, they're not giving this either of these offenses a chance to make a play. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. He's out to the 30. Right down, right around the 32-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 32-yard line. Passes it to the middle of the field, and they'll bring him down behind the line. UTLA is going to have to use their second time out of the half. Now he tries to buy some time. He's wrapped up for the sack. You have to keep an eye on this guy, especially during passing situations, because he does a great job of getting to the quarterback, as we saw right there. They'll spread the field with five wide. Michigan's called their final timeout, and they get a few yards on the halfback option. It's away, and it's a booming punt. Tackle made at the 31-yard line. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Slings it. Tackle made around the 44-yard line. Spikes the ball. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 35. Setting up blockers, the running backs got it on the screen. Out of bounds at the 29. He gets it up, and he nails the long field goal. Low scoring first half of play, but a close game. The Wolverines lead 10-7. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Chris Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always. 
to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. We've been looking forward to this game all week, and it has lived up to billing. A close game. You feel like that it's going to be a great second half, and boy, we've got the perfect guys in the booth. What a reward today for Nestler and Herb Street to get this game. Well, you know, it's not a secret, Reese. They get the best game every week that we think's on the schedule, right? So they got this game. It's great. It's close. It's going back and forth. I mean, what a treat to watch one of the best games of the year just unfolding in front of us, and more importantly, to hear the silky smooth sounds of Kirk Herbstreet and Brad Nessler. Does it get any better? David and I will stay locked in on everything going on in college football. We're gonna wrap it up here in the studio. Just about time to get you out to your second half. Brad and Kirk ready with a call. Welcome back to the action. Second half just about set to begin. We got a tight game here. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Wolverines continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. And they hit him in the backfield. The defense was playing run all the way right there, and it paid off for them. From their own 23-yard line. Second down. Gets out to around the 35. And now he's got room to run. Gets to about the 37-yard line. Quick throw to the back, it's incomplete. The running back just was not paying attention at all to where he was on the field. I mean, he had good concentration to make the catch. But he has to have more of an awareness and a feel for where he is on the field. And he just gets rid of it. Third down again. successful throw in the football. You can't gain solid yardage if the defense isn't concerned about the passing game. They're going to end up crowding the line of scrimmage, expecting a run on every down. And down he goes at the 42-yard line. Both sides have made their way back out, and we're just about set to get going again. Michigan holds a field goal lead. Quick strike to the receiver. They go to the air and pick up a couple. The defense respects this guy and knows they have to pay a lot of attention to him. He didn't have any room after that catch. From their own 44 yard line. Second down. And he's tackled at the 48 yard line. First and ten, ball on the 34-yard line. And he makes it out to about the 31-yard line.
might have been some early movement up front. That penalty drives them back, and they're shooting themselves in the foot here. Well, if they could just keep their concentration, they'll avoid situations like that. Second down and 11 yards to the sticks. Ball on the 36. And they make the stop at the 30. Almost six yards on the play action. Michigan is up a field goal. That's a great tackle at the 18. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 18-yard line. And a quick throw. The five. Nice play to set up first and goal. And this play is number eight on the drive. Touchdown, Wolverines. Strong run by the halfback to get into the end zone. He's a pretty sure bet to get six when you're this close to the end zone. And he tacks on the extra point. An eight-play, 64-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. An amazing drive for this offense. Outstanding execution. If you're the defense, you've got to do something to try to change things up to get this quarterback out of sync. So our score, 17-7. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Quick strike to the back, no good. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. And he's shoved out of bounds around the 36-yard line. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. Well, they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. Throws it in a hurry. He's at midfield. And he's finally shoved out at the 30-yard line. That's just a great call by the coordinator there going to the air on first down. Six-yard line. Throws complete, and he's hit hard behind the line. That's a two-yard loss. Pretty good stand there. They weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call. down and they need to get it down to the 20. Got it, but he's going to lose yards here. Three yard loss there. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated them there. And they can make this a one-possession game with this kick right here. It has the distance, and it's good! Yeah, he got some good leg behind it, and he kicked an accurate ball right between the goalposts. 17-10, Michigan. UCLA, the kick. Excellent kick! He 
makes it out to maybe the 20-yard line. Both teams have really answered the bell here in the third quarter, Kirk. Well, it's exciting to see what these offenses have been able to do here. Be able to come out and score in your first drive. Tells you a lot about what they did during the half. And here comes the offense again. They'll try to make it two touchdowns in two possessions. And it was a really nice drive, too, Brad. The quarterback got into a nice rhythm and did a good job of picking apart the defense. He scrambled. He's tackled at the 29-yard line. Short yardage situation here. Second down and one. Michigan is up seven. Nice run there as they work the outside. was all over that draw play. They got very good containment on the halfback. He had nowhere to go with the football. From their own 33-yard line, second down. A great game so far, and it looks like it'll be decided in the fourth. The Wolverines with a touchdown lead. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Catches it, he's immediately tackled behind the line. That'll be a loss of one. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. It's third and 13. Ball on the 32. Gets it to the back. He's knocked out of bounds at the 46-yard line. The screen play worked that time for a decent pickup. Yep, you're right. Excellent call to go to the screen to maybe slow down this defensive pass rush a little bit. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Got a man. Watch out here. Knocked down at about the 35. From the 35-yard line, it's first down. Michigan up seven points. And he's tackled after positive yardage. This is the eighth play of this drive. of about three on the toss play. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. Pass out to the tight end, but it's incomplete. There was just no way anybody could catch up with that pass. Kicks up, and he splits the uprights. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. 
And down he goes, right around the 46-yard line. Throws complete, and he's hit right away. Less than three minutes in the game. He fights forward to about the 46. He makes it out to maybe the 43-yard line. They'll spread the field with five wide. Sheds one tackler. And he's taken down at the 14-yard line. That'll make it second and seven. The quarterback in the gun. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. They'll make the sack. I think this defensive end is doing a great job of getting after the quarterback, not only with the sack in this case, but it seems like the entire game he's done a good job of creating pressure, making this quarterback feel him, and almost giving him happy feet back there where he doesn't seem to be in rhythm and almost seems to be throwing the football, feeling the, the pressure and almost creating nerves on the quarterback. So that sack leaves them a little ways to go here. It's third down and 13. Short over the middle. And he's tackled at the 17. Well, a new quarterback, but we saw this kid getting reps both in practice and in the pregame walkthrough, so this isn't a big surprise. A little over a minute in the game. that innate ability to get just enough distance from a defender to make a completion possible. You don't see it from every receiver, but this guy's got it. This is the 13th play of this drive. Let it go, and it's caught for the touchdown. fourth quarter now and with that score this game's a one possession ball game and it's really going to get tense from here on out trying to get within a field goal they'll try the point after and he hits the PAT it was a 13 play 74 yard drive and they put up seven points so the score now 20 to 17 Bring him down at the 43 yard line. This might be it. They've got the lead, but if they add to it, they know they've got a victory. And they get nice yardage on that run. The Bruins call a timeout. That's their second of the half. Second and five. Ball on the 39. They go to the ground game. 
Good outside run there. The defense had a great opportunity there, and they let it go. This is an offense that's clearly working clock. They've got to get more aggressive defensively and attack the line of scrimmage to be able to slow down this offense from getting first down. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. UCLA staff and really this entire team, I'm sure, is going to rally around this kid. Yeah, it's a tough loss for this team. I mean, they put so much into this game. But one thing about them is they're, they're a team. And even though their star player had a tough game, I think they'll pick him back up and get him ready to go by next week. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.